Think something new under the sun. Mm. You can't take back some things you already done, done. No. You blame things that you do on somebody else. Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Give us thumbs up if you enjoyed the intro of this home. We are going to be touring Villa Marusha, which is an exclusive rental property from Berkshire Hathaway Home Service here in Marbella. And currently we are in Sierra Blanca, one of the most prestigious urbanizations in the Golden Mile in the southern part of Spain. Now guys, main entry is here. Carport section is to the left and the entry to the garage is to the right. You'll be seeing that in the detour shots. This would be the entry for your invites. Let's have a look. And immediately you're greeted by uh, this entry that guides you inside of the home. We have just under 900 square meter of built area, six bedrooms, an insane basement, everything that we'll explore on this channel now. But before we do, Patrick, a little glimpse onto the carport. You also have a wraparound passageway to the garden and the stuff apartment from there. And of course, a little seating area here. That is perfect for me because I'm always first before we leave. So I would sit there, enjoy my coffee and wait for everyone else to get ready. Now guys, main entry, let's explore. All right, you're immediately greeted by this entry for you. You've got your closet here to hang your jackets, whatever you need. It's a nice space right at the entry, as I said. And we already get a glimpse of the style and design that we're going to be seeing throughout this entire home. Now, on this level, we have two bedrooms. On the first floor, we have two bedrooms and we have two bedrooms in the basement. I would say we start with those two bedrooms. So let's quickly look together. Starting with this one, let's go. Contemporary style and design. The interior is super welcoming. We have an entire window front, a sort of bay window there, illuminating the space and of course, cupboards and drawers right here with the indirect lighting popping up immediately and all bedrooms have an ensuite bathroom on this level. Let's look at the one here. Two sink vanity set up with the drawers right underneath. Big mirror with the trim as well. You get to see a lot of casing and trimming and molding throughout the house giving it a more of a elegant and classical touch. Here, let's move this away real quick. We have the shower with a natural stone backsplashed here and a toilet. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna go in there. It's a toilet, you guys understand. Pocket doors as well. And just here, perfect example of the classic handle here, just giving a continuation of the classical style and design. That was bedroom number one. Let's look at bedroom number two. Before we get to bedroom number two, we have a guest toilet here. Let's look at it together. Always a big fan of these longitudinal sphere like sinks i think they're just awesome it's one entity and one sink i don't know it's pretty damn cool and we also have the tap here that goes basically from the same height all the way down to the floor the lighting system here is pretty interesting not sure if the toilet should be hanged there but it is cool and elegant marble on the floor with the divisional black lining bedroom number two let's look this one's slightly more spacious than the first one we have seen. We have a rug laid out, king-sized bed, interesting here decoration on the wall. And you also get to see the molding on the second ceiling. And of course, this entire classic contemporary style, which is throughout. And of course, an ensuite bathroom. The same setup here, a two-sink vanity. I think this is Korean countertop, the drawers underneath, shower and bathroom. And this is pretty neat. If I'm not mistaken, this is a towel rack that also heats up. So you can hang your bathrobe and it will heat it up a little bit. Or dry it. Or dry it, exactly. And once again, these more classic door handles. This bedroom enjoys accessibility out to the swimming pool area, which makes it my favorite of the two that we have just seen. Now, living room area, let's go. You can see a lot of windows bringing natural light in. This is the trimming I mentioned before, even the scones are a bit more classical this corridor by the way with the entry foyer here 
gives you accessibility to the two bedrooms, the living room there, and at the far end, the kitchen and the staircase and elevator, which either gives you access to the first floor or the basement. Now, this is the living room. It is super nice. Let's look. Now, here we have a seating area with a round couch as the round coffee table and a round rug, just separating the rectangular space that we have here. Up front, fireplace, beautiful natural stone mantle here. Once again, the trim is throughout, adding this classical feature. We also have the millwork going on here with the open shelving, a little desk to work from and indirect lighting and backsplashed, we have the porcelain there, giving it all a bit of an elegant feel. And turning the camera around, you get to see the rectangular space I mentioned. So let's go explore it. There's natural stone in a herringbone pattern laid out entirely on this floor. We have another sitting area here, access points out to... It's natural stone? I said natural wood. No, you said stone. Did I? Yeah. Jesus. You sure? Okay, yeah. natural wood and a herringbone pattern. I'm going to verify that, Patrick. Maybe I did say stone. 100%. Guys, let us know in the comments. Did I make a mistake? Constantly make mistakes these days. Anyways, wooden flooring throughout and a herringbone pattern. Nice little closet here to store your things. Once again, the scones here in a very elegant way, just complementing the entirety of this place and the access points out to the terrace. Now guys, we're gonna be going outside last, so stay tuned till the end. Continuing, we also have a dining area here for eight seats, nice chandelier dangling down. In the ceiling, we have the molding and the casing, which just once again, continues the same style and design and a window here that is basically round, giving you more light, little couch to sit on and wait. Perfect. What do you think of the space? The main space, very nice. It's very open and a lot of seat, seating arrangements, which makes it Indeed. You know, nice to just come and chill. I very much like rectangular spaces because for me, I like to you know, have it subdivided and so forth. So for me, that's important. Now we have industrial looking glass doors here, which kind of break up this more classical feel of the house. We've seen a lot of them being developed and placed into homes, which I'm happy about. And up front, we have the kitchen. So please enter. We have a big kitchen island right in the center with a bar stool set up underneath. Natural stone as well on the countertop here. A veteran with space for your wines. We have another wine fridge downstairs wine room More yeah like a wine i don't want to spoil it yeah it's a wine room it's actually really really impressive appliances are by gaginau you obviously have more storage spaces here and your induction would be found here from gaginau as well as the appliances is the same brand positioned here with the extractor nicely hidden above let's just open this one here soft close as well just perfect clean classical everything you need is present in this kitchen and it's right next to your dining table. We also have here your breakfast area, which I love to have these in your own kitchen because it's always the coziest place to be when people are working, preparing food and you get to just sit here and I don't know, do your homework or eat your prepared breakfast. Super cool and more industrial looking window facade here. Wow. That sums it up once again, right? We have a smart system here, controls the lighting, the air con, the underfloor heating with the push of a finger. And you can also close the kitchen down with the pocketing door right here. And coming out, we have the elevator. Just gonna press it. And the time it comes up, I would like to say thank you for watching. And of course, thank you to the exclusive rental agency Berkshire and Hathaway Home Service for giving us the opportunity to tour it. If you're interested, all the contact details are in the description box of today's video. Low elevator pitch whilst we wait for the elevator. Okay, might take a little too long. Staircase leads either up to the first floor or down to the basement. I would say that the elevator just came. Nice feature here. Come have a look, Patrick. You have the same natural stone 
natural wood laid out in the herringbone pattern here as well and wallpaper see you upstairs all right this is the first floor which houses two bedrooms one being the main bedroom of this house that we should look at first and then we jump into the last one before we do because i actually walked I didn't walk, I took the elevator, but when you walk up the stairs, you also have a big window there bringing natural light in, illuminating this entire staircase. Now, this would be the main bedroom. It is also the biggest one. You have a triple height ceiling here, nice chandelier dangling down. And just look at this king size bed with the bed frame going all the way up to the trim and the molding and you all have more casing here. The elegancy of this room is a continuation of the one from the entire property. We have a sitting possibility here with one of these super fancy couches. This is like aristocratic things. You would lie here and have a painter come and paint a portrait of you lying here. That's how sophisticated you would be renting this home. We also have an access point out to a little terrace area with two chairs. Come and relax there. Morning breakfast. Maybe even there. Cool. We have the cloud here, natural stone, TV setup, fireplace right underneath, indirect lighting. The rug is laid out entirely here as well to divide the space and two more sofa chairs there. And of course, a walk-in closet. Love those. Spacious enough, little ottoman in the middle, drawers, LED lights and everything you need. And of course, the pocket doors to close the space down now here with the same principle of the pocket doors we have the main bathroom let's look here we have two individual one thing vanities set up very nice with the wooden panels here in the drawer set up and once again in the korean countertop and the natural stone backsplashed onto the walls another little makeup section there shower this one is quite big i would like to enter into it got the rain shower above the same cladding on the wall and a little sitting possibility here you know switch off the shower rub in your stuff go shower it off perfect and up front we also have a freestanding bathtub with gorgeous views out and lastly a toilet super that sums it up let's look at the terrace now come on all right perfect this terrace is to be used by the main bedroom as well as bedroom number four that we haven't yet shown you. And from here, you really get to see a beautiful vista to the sea. You see Porto Banus, you see Africa and Gibraltar. Today is a little bit misty, so it might be difficult. But also your own swimming pool and the garden area of which you have 1,500 square meters of. Fantastic. Let's sum up this floor by looking at the last bedroom and then the gold nugget, the surprise in the basement. Let's go. I am very much in favor of the distribution of the bedrooms, two here, two on the ground floor and two in the basement, because if you come with friends and family, you can give each other space, privacy and etc. Now this would be the last bedroom, like this floating table here, drawer set up underneath, you got the art with the black trim which goes super well with the lighting system here once again the trim is continuous we also have a big bed and the terrace accessibility by the way i must note that these two bedrooms on this floor have sea views when you lie in bed that's nice now here we have a two sink vanity set up with the drawers underneath the same backdrop with the natural stone a big shower actually coming closer we have two big showers this is very curious why two patrick why not if you can you just should okay patrick's motto if you can you should why not here w what's better than one two <laughs> exactly but once said and a bathtub as well there yeah, freestanding bathtub and a tiny little terrace to maybe go smoke a cheeky cigarette if you're a smoker like me and the views out to the sea. Now, hidden here, we have not just the glassed mirrored wall, but also a little walk-in closet sufficient for you to store all the goodies here. So you don't have to surprise your partner before 
seeing them. Exactly, get change tower all in this space. Perfect. And there's also a, a nice there. mirror, right? Patrick, say hello. Hi. This is my brother, for those who are new. And for the Mara gang, I'm not gonna explain. You guys know who he is. And... I like the lights on the left and the right going down. Yeah, sweet. It's like a landing strip. <laughs> I wonder what lands there. <laughs> Let's continue. All right, we are in the basement. Now, when I first came to this home, I did not expect to find what is hidden behind that door, which we will not show yet. Let's first show you guys the fifth bedroom here, pocket door, and in the detail shots, you see that this is the smallest bedroom, maybe for your staff member, but it is present also has a window. Now, moving out of this, I'm gonna close it once again. We have the garage here that I would like to show you real quick. Should we do it? Maybe the laundry first, oh. the least interesting. The least interesting, but be careful because this door opens your way. All right, let's go inside, the laundry. Sufficient in size, you have a washer, dryer, sink, storage space. Behind there is the machinery room and a little console for the domotic system. So everything is here. And now to the exciting part, because behind this door we have something epic, we'll come to that last. Let's first look into the garage which we have right here. Now we purposely parked this stunning Range Rover Sport from Cida Salamanca in such a manner to give emphasis onto the car, but you could easily put two to three cars in this garage. And I have to say, I've become a Range Rover fan after having the first Range Rover in our previous tour and now the Sport. I just love it. We've got a little signal here and oh, this car is just a monster. It's all black inside. I don't think you'll get to see much, but it is a super duper car with soft clothes. Wow. And we have glass wall to wall wall here. Well, I'm not work. showing too much. Okay, purpose. yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm spoiling it way too much these days. Let's go in here and explore it together. Come on. We have an entire entertainment area and this place was hidden and I was not knowledgeable about it. So when I saw this, it was like the icing on the cake. I was like, this is super duper cool. And like I said, you've got the glass wall here from where you can look at your car nicely parked in the garage. And yeah, if you've got some of these beautiful cars as this one, it's nice for the eye. Now let's focus on to the room here. We have a entire bar area here, open shelving, indirect lighting, fridges, ice makers, this is gonna be the spot where the DJ puts his mixers on, gets crazy, people are dancing, partying, it's amazing. You run out of booze, Patrick, turn the camera, you will go to your climatized wine cellar, which is right here. Also with your open shelves, indirect lighting, the climatization mechanism is on full speed. You can sit down, taste the wine, perfect. Really nice that they have it in their home. Climatization? Yes. Or just air conditioning? It's a special system for the a Special wines. aircon. Exactly, for the, it's a wine aircon. Truth. Now we also have these wooden panels. The entire theme here is quite woody. It's not Woody Allen, but it's woody. This would be the sixth and last bedroom. Now what makes this bedroom unique is that it also has an access point out, which you will be seeing through this door that leads you up to the garden landing. So this could be used privately for someone who wants to be more independent. Or staff compartment. Or staff compartment, exactly. Big bed and of course an ensuite bathroom right here with a two sink vanity setup and the shower, toilet. And once again, the trim and the molding is continuous even here in the basement. Now there is more, so let's go and look at it. Cupboards, of course, can't be missing and a little working desk there. Let's go. This entire section would be your TV setup. We've got a really big couch set up here. The TV on the wall, of course, a fireplace right underneath. More indirect lighting within the wooden trims that we have here. And you might be seeing it already behind the glass here we have the indoor swimming pool area. Really cool that, by the way, they have these picture windows so that you can still look in that luxurious segment there. Let's go. Here, 
because this door leads us to a gym but before we get to the gym quick look into your guest toilet on this level which is right here now you want to step in no step in step in because there's also a shower is that what you wanted to point out a little bit of a darker wooden theme here and of course in the niche here your shower so basically everything you need for after the gym after the gym for shower for freshening up for whatever the necessity may be and here let's walk in we have a little gym setup from techno gym stepper running machine bicycle and a multi bench press here and of course this is for you patrick some free weights that actually go up to 22 kilos so it's not too bad huh that's okay yeah it's okay patrick does warm up with 22 kilos i finish my set with 22 kilos that's the difference let's go now here we have the indoor swimming pool ladies and gentlemen pretty big if you consider that's an indoor swimming pool at the end we have the hammam setup right here and your sauna right there and right in the middle we have a shower once again with the natural stone backsplashed and the led strips giving this entire piece more emphasis i like that they have windows facing each other so you can still divide them but see them yeah divide and conquer the people in this house i'd be there because i like the steam warmth patrick would be in here and we could talk to one another through morse code anyways big couch set up here because you know how it works sauna into the cold pool get out lounge relax back in the sauna back in the cold pool lounge sauna sauna that's how it goes gym and, yeah TV, gym tv cocktails just car. Live, just live life but before we get out of this space we have this gigantic picture window here that lets you look into the swimming pool out on the garden area, which we should be looking at now. So with no further ado, we have let's seen go. everything. Let's go to the garden. Vamos, Ramos. Right here, you would have your outdoor dining area nicely covered and shaded. And of course, an entire chill section there. And this beauty, which is up front. You got your sunbeds and a humongous swimming pool. Let's have a look at it. Right here, you can come for a week, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the warm here in Costa del Sol with your colonial style contemporary home in Sierra Blanca, Marbella, a super luxurious area. You've also got an inbuilt jacuzzi here, big swimming pool, and for those who want to know, a shower area. And that little house there is a bathroom that you're seeing in the detailed shots at this point big thank you to berkshire hathaway home service for allowing us to showcase their exclusive rental home here in sierra blanca it was a joy it's completely different to what we have seen so far so i'm super happy to bring you guys that diversity and yeah all the contact details of berkshire hathaway are in the description box if you want to rent it last words to my dear brother patrick let's go don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Peace.